to Matt's desk. All hail the return of tape deck intros. Right, what is this? It's a games, movies, and comics. No, it's a thrift pickups, but it's also somehow a games, movies, comics. All right, you heard it. Thrift pickups. It's pretty easy to get to games, movies, and comics. I'll be real, uh, because I had bought uh, games and and movie here. So you know, uh, thrift pickups wasn't like a big, huge leap to get to there. So all right, I, I just gotta separate out the games. Here's the movies. All right, so thrift pickups. Injustice. Ultimate Edition. Look at that. Look at them. Look at them. All right, so there's that. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 3 and, funnily enough, Project Gotham Racing 4. Look at that. A little dusty. I'm going to clean them up before I uh, put them in the collection, but they're over here on the side desk. I think I'm going to get another desk to make this all like a big U-shaped desk thing. I don't know. Uh, games. Grand Slam Tennis for the Wii. Look at, look at that. Is that some freaking, some Mac right there? Look at the Mac. Look at that. Look at that guy's face. What the fuck? Is that the, is this what this guy looks like in real life? I don't know. I've never played it. I'm willing to give it a try, I think. And then, uh, Kart Racers. Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Not bad. I don't know anything about it. It's a kart racing game, so I don't need to know anything about it. Movies. Okay, well, I'm not going to do 100% of movies thing. It's more DVDs, right? You know, you got 150 cartoon classics. Popeye, Casper, Van Dien, uh, Betty Boop, Felix the Cat, uh, PewDiePie, and... Uh, my cousins. Uh, this has a lot of uh, different stuff on here. None of it says, like, here's the Private Eye Popeye. So that's obviously a Popeye one, but The Enchanted Square, Crystal Brawl, Hot Air Salesman, Betty Boop and Little Jimmy. That's a Betty Boop one. But there's no, like, you know, they just threw it on here, I think, like, with no thought or anything to... to <laughs> Shout out, 2006, Mill Creek. Taking that. Uh, Flight of the Concords. I bought this brand new. Watched it already. Oh, man. Gosh. Stupid sticker sticking to both sides of it. Anyway. Yeah, Flight of the Concords seeing these guys in concert great act i love the show i love the music i love this packaging yeah it's like yeah oh we, we are flight of the concords i don't i don't do accents very i'm brit hello i'm brit oh and i'm jermaine hello jermaine yes that's what he sounds like sort of yes hmm? anyway guest appearance Got that. that's good anyway here's the movie the Glenn Miller story right got Jimmy Stewart guy probably wasn't a good guy I don't know no one knows anymore it's just history and everything we know of the man is myth now kind of like Glenn Miller actually this is a really good movie if you've never seen this movie ah man you gotta check this one out you know usually I don't like you know I don't say, hey, check out this G-rated movie, but here it is. Glenn Miller story for general audiences. A widescreen copy, because that's how they filmed it back in the days. Just saying. Dude, I mean, how can you not? Dude, it's got Louis Armstrong, some Gene Krupa. Come on, some Krupa, y'all. King Krupa. All right, and comics. Now, I had to dig for these, okay? Uh, I bought these on 420 in 2018 so just proof not all of my pickups end up on the show 
so but yeah you can see right here this is i had to pick this up uh, or, uh, number seven of star trek next generation and doctor who crossover dude who knew that this was a thing who knew i mean look at it it's got absolutely beautiful art it's kind of an interesting story there's no like ads or anything in it so anyone who was like man i can't stand he's talking about ads you know this is literally just a story about doctor who hanging out with freaking Jordy LaForge and Worf and, and Picard and that's a weird looking Riker holy crap he is hunched over really weird there but no this is really decent looking art look and then they're like next issue and then we do have like a couple here's uh, uh, advertisements for you know there's their letters page there's the advertisement for volume one of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh idw's opus you know and a lot of these comics these idw comics they're uh uh mostly funded by like one one person like this is a hasbro ad you know uh you know wizard of oz mgm probably someone who owns mgm i don't know you know like but this is the real gem okay i'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can get a screenshot right right look at that thing look at that thing can i zoom this i'm gonna see if i can zoom this some technical stuff there now that's all you're getting folks but yeah i mean doctor who hanging out with a borg this is number six doctor who this was before that one it's the lead up to that i would go and see if i could find these guys look at that borg look at that guy holy crap but you know i'd, I'd find the lead up to it but it's probably i could probably get it digitally it should be fine to do digital um you know oh look locutus some pretty nice art in this man i gotta say Ooh, Mars Attacks. You know, a lot of people throw shade at that that movie, but I like that movie, man. I, dude, I watched a lot of crappy movies in my life. And it's probably one of the best crappy movies I've ever seen. And, uh, there's another screenshot for you, huh? Right, the magic of friendship is coming. That's Pinkie Pie. That's the best one, I think. I don't know, I've only seen one episode, and... I thought Pinkie Pie was probably one of the the uh, the characters in it that I remember seeing. So, yeah, Lego stuff. Come on, who doesn't love Lego stuff? I got I got Lego stuff somewhere around here. I don't I don't freaking know. Uh, yeah, uh, here's something. There it is. The Harry Potter Harry Potter book. It's not complete, but. I like unfold it it's got stuff it's kind of interesting and cool and you know it was like three or four bucks and i think the this minifigure is worth two or three bucks so you know it's a win-win there right I'm closed up there's a little book you could put it on a shelf i don't know i don't know what lego does some weird stuff nowadays real weird stuff anyway and then uh Oh, peep that. That's kind of cool. That's an ultra-stylized figurine of the 10th Doctor. David Tennant, to those of the uninitiated to that stuff. But, and, uh, yeah. You know, uh, like, back when we heard about this stuff, it was hard to find the comics then. They were getting up in price when I was a kid. And now they're just whew, expensive. Man. Anyway, uh like comment subscribe uh do all the wonderful stuff share this video out and uh yeah all that stuff we'll see you next time matt's desk pow 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 that was dumb oh.